Hello guys, Jace here, and today I'm going to do a video that's a bit different for me. I usually play Let's Plays, um, but today we're going to do a tutorial or a how to uh, fix Amnesia the Dark Descent uh, if you're having a specific sound problem. So I got this game uh, probably the middle of last week, and I got it just before I got this microphone. So I started playing through the game, started recording on my headset. And that was plugged into the speaker port on the back of the PC and it worked absolutely fine. Now when I got my Yeti uh, stereo microphone, it comes with a built-in headphone amp for monitoring yourself whilst you're recording, which is brilliant. I really like the feature, it's got the volume control in the front, so it's good um, because if your headphones don't have like a built-in volume control, inline volume control, you can change the volume using the front of the microphone. Anyway, uh, I found that when I tried to launch Amnesia, I was greeted with this. Fatal error, no sound devices available. Check your OpenAL installation. Now, I don't have an OpenAL installation because, well, I do, but it was installed automatically by Amnesia uh, when I installed the game. I looked around on the Amnesia forums for a way to fix this, and there wasn't really anything of note there, there was just there was a thread where people had had the same problem, and they said that uh, one of the guys posted a solution whereby you change a number in the config file. Now that doesn't actually work if you don't have any supported sound devices detected at all. It won't start no matter what number you put in there. So after excuse me after. Um, Reading those threads, uh, there was some reference to OpenAL Soft. Now this seems to be a new version of OpenAL, and I'm just going to type OpenAL Soft into Google. The first hit that we get, kcat.strangesoft.net, that's the one we need to take. And this is a very technical rundown of what OpenAL Soft is. Um, None of that means anything to me, and you don't need to know what it means either. All we're interested in here is the Win32 binary. Now we click on that zip file, it's going to start downloading immediately. I'll put a link to that down in the description as well, so you can just grab it straight from there. If we open it up, you can see here we've got OpenAL Soft 1.1.4. Now in here there's a few files, but we're only interested in the ones in Win32. That's soft underscore OAL dot DLL. Now this will do I know it says Win32, but it'll do you for Win32 or Windows 64. However, depending on which version of Windows you have, there's a different installation procedure. So for people on Windows 64-bit, like myself, if you go into your operating system drive, uh, into the Windows folder, and then into the syswow64 folder, this is where you need to place this DLL file. So I'm just going to drag it over there. And that's the installation done. Um, now this will allow me to play the game perfectly, and but you want to make sure whatever you're using to open the the zip file uh, is that you extract it without the folder structure. So I don't want that file in here in Win32 in OpenAL Soft or whatever. You just want the single file over. If you're on Windows 32 bit. You go into the Windows folder and then into System32, and this is where you put the file. So you just put that DLL file anywhere here, usually just drag into the white space there, and that'll copy it in absolutely fine. Now, I'm not going to do that because I don't want unused DLL files floating about on my machine, which uh, there's probably a million of already anyway. Uh, if I close these windows, is it really that simple? Well, yes, it is. So we'll open Amnesia now. And under the sound options there, you can see there's no device selected, but I now have unsupported speakers, Yeti stereo microphone, so I can select that device. Now the difference being that OpenAL that ships with Amnesia cannot handle unsupported devices, whereas this OpenAL soft that we've installed that it's going to use instead can at least attempt to use the unsupported devices. And in my experience, it's going to be able to output sound absolutely no problem at all. So unless you have a really exotic sound setup or um, something that, you know, some kind of strange sound card that doesn't work like a generic 
sound card uh, or if you're trying to use surround sound uh, you might run into problems but I've certainly not had any problems with this so far if I click on launch game here you're just going to get a white screen because screen recorder doesn't work like that but hopefully you should be able to hear the audio coming through and I can see the profile screen just now so it's working perfectly for me now and I can get back to my let's plays so yeah I hope this has been useful for you please check out my other videos uh, if you want to see some of Amnesia being played or I've got plenty of other games on there as well thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time